down here at the uh, fuse box it goes up behind the expansion bottle the wiring harness on up here has a big pull tie here uh, on up between this screw and this part here with the rubber it goes right up in there and there's a big giant pull tie right there that goes around everything and it goes up uh, up in there the plate will have to come off or it'll come up to here I'm going to try to remove that first I want to get this piece out and clean it and clean all down in there I have this one plug now on these instead of writing everything I just put A and A and I'll start down the alphabet when I unplug something this will be my old wiring harness that I'm taking out but it'll give me a reference I can match up the plugs and get started and every place uh, some of these up here I won't have because I already plugged them I know where they go and they're so color coded and they only go one way but I'm going to try to keep it all referenced especially like right here this one that plugs and comes down into the back of here I'll mark and just try to keep everything referenced so when I lay the new one in I get it plugged in right and for reference back in there is a plug a white plug that has nothing I can see there's nothing on it uh, it might be for like something different I know there was a unit on there on the other side for the exhaust and it's for I think California models only and that's probably where that goes so I can move on from there at this point I have a lot taken out of here in the middle you can see in here the shock where it's at and everything and down here I'm working on this side first I decided to take my wiring from up here right where this plate comes off and I'm going to put the other wiring down through here but I got to get this one out first and that's where I'm starting at and down here I have a lot of stuff unplugged now these I'm going to just take off put the other ones right on because they're right into the wiring and everything I ain't going to mess with them and I took these three bolts off to get this unit out so I can get at this I want to clean everything anyway in that and there's only three bolts in it and once you lift this bottom part off with your fuses you look on the back and uh, there's your rectifier it's mounted right on the back with two bolts with all the wiring going on so I gotta see yeah it just unplugs and I have it unplugged so now I can take this and pull it out and get these off of this can uh, the holder I can clean it you can see back in here the arm and the pivot and everything for the uh, shock you can see in there and I'm going to clean all this out and go over it and look at it and maybe even spray a little bit of spray grease here and there you know where it's moving and that uh, these are solid joints to hold this for the uh, yeah these aren't arms that swing or anything they're solid on they're bolted but it's to hold the bottom of the shock and then the top is right here to frame right there and that's how that is and I marked some of my wiring up here like uh, he added some of this for the charger uh, that he plugs in and he has a thing over there for the tail light so when you hit the tail light it flashes for a little bit you can set it for how long you want it to flash another nice thing about this is all these plugs that I've been taking out and unplugging everything there are no two plugs alike they are all different so there's only one place you can plug them back in so I don't have to mark all these I can just unplug them and I know this wiring comes down here and you got three four five right there that plug in well find a five plugs and plug them in because uh, there's no way you can plug them in wrong so that's that's pretty good that's helps So once I got the fuse box and everything off of this piece it comes right off and there's your plugs 
and you turn it on the back side and right there is your rectifier. That's where it's held. And I had a hard time those two two rubbers right there where that uh, fuse box and everything sets. I had a hard time getting that out. Those rubbers go in here on both sides. So what I did was, when it was in there, I sprayed it right there with Armor All. And just, it soaked in there, and then it come right up. I just put a little screwdriver under it and pushed up on it, and this unit come right off. And that's on my other wiring I got, all this. So I have it all unplugged with the fuse box and everything like that. And it's, I got it up to here. I got to take this off that holds it and then I can take it on up I come out today and uh, really got started on this putting the wiring in this is the uh, new part I'm putting in the from the 2011 I did all the fuses down here the box behind the rectifier plugged this all in I just worked my way up and they have this main harness hooked in here and you can pop it out you don't have to take the band off and the person that took this out of the old uh, the other bike that it came from popped them out so that was nice I could put them right back in there's one on this side one on this side down here there's like a hole in a frame and they just pop in to hold all this and I got clear up I got a lot of this plugged in now on the other side I have the wiring I'm putting in here, here's the old one right beside it, and I'm clear up here. I took my plate off my frame so I can work up through there, but I got a lot down in here to deal with. On the right side of the bike, there's a piece in here, and I, ha I think it goes with the emissions that they have to have in California. So it wasn't on this bike. It wasn't sold in California. So I took a couple bolts out. Then this unit, and that's your brains of your uh, bike. All the wiring goes to it. The big plugs, they just unplug. And everything unplugs, and it's, it's fantastic because it's just like plug and play. And then there's one way up in here I have to get to it's on the other side back up in there that I got to get to unplug it and plug the uh, new wiring in and you can see I have this is my new one this is the old one and I'm just putting one in as I take the other out when I get so far up I'm gonna have to weave that in up there weave it in through the frame and that and get it up towards the headlight before I can work a lot of it in here. I'll get up in here and plug some in and then I'll just have that last piece and uh, I think everything will work great but that's how far I am right now. I have the old wiring completely out. The, what I found was this line goes down along the radiator and there's three plugs at the bottom. Uh, one is a brake, one is for the sensor on the radiator and the other one's for the fan. It's along there. If right up there they would have put, put a plug, it would have been so much easier. But that goes right into the wiring harness. I didn't want to cut them and re-splice them. I bought that other wiring harness. I want it in right. So you have to take the radiator out. And that's because it goes along this side, right in here by the air for the fan. It goes right in here and down and it plugs into the frame right here to hold it. So drain all the fluid, take that out to get it in, and now I can clean all this. The so first thing I'm going to do is clean all this real good, the fan I can get out and everything. I just took the uh, bolts out of here and took the uh, crash bar and just laid it down. I have pad on a fender, laid it against it, and I have the uh, steering tied so it don't move. That way, that'll hold that right there till I get all this done and get the wiring back in. And the second wiring, I, you know, the wiring I bought for this, it fits it. 
I have everything done clear up from the fuse box clear up to here to here and I have this plate on so now I'm ready to take this and you can see there's like a, a plug right here a plastic thing that pushes into the frame then it goes underneath the frame and across and up into the headlight and here is the rest of the wiring I have to go that I have to plug in and put on and there is a lot of plugs on there but I know where they all go and uh, they're all completely different so you can't really go wrong but this piece right here that goes down along that radiator like I said if right up here they would there's I think six wires going down through that if they had just put a plug there you could unplug it and this could be separated they didn't so it caused a lot of extra work but it's coming uh, there's those covers for the neck the neck cover they got burnt and melted uh, I just ordered two off of eBay I got them so they'll be coming the end of this week so that's where I'm at now beautiful day out into the 70s but I want to get this done now that I have all this open up one last thing I wanted to show I talked about it before on the Suzuki's and on the uh, V stars the older V stars 1100 my nephew had one and this chrome line right here this pipe it goes down to the exhaust and they call it an air induction system and right on these bins you want to really get your finger around them and feel them mine feel like brand new but down here there's a bend and you want to check them for uh, any they'll blow out through actually burn through and on the back one there's one right here on the exhaust it comes up and around and up here and it goes under here someplace but those lines right there those two on my nephews were uh, burnt through and I mean they were burnt through bad and it made a difference on the running of it and as I said I went to Harbor Freight with my uh, neighbor and a guy was out there with a V-Star and I was telling him about that and I felt down there and sure enough his was burnt out and he said he had never heard of it and he said he rides with friends that have them V-Stars and he said he'd get them to check theirs and I said yeah I said on the V-Star we checked it was going to cost a little over two hundred dollars to get them two pipes to buy them so we took them off and I fixed them with a little bit of metal and uh, JB Weld and I made where the hole was I cleaned it a little bit open more to get all the rough edges off I cut a piece of metal that was just a hair bigger and I put it on there so it wouldn't go inside and I put it on the hole and put JB Weld over it and it worked great and we fixed both of his so that's something to look for on your bike when you're cleaning it you might want to get in there and feel around see if you see any holes after working on the bike I come in and what do I see oh boy talk about spoiled I told Lois she looks like one of them ventriloquists and has a little dummy on her lap not that you're a dummy huh Kiki <coughs> mommy's baby boy you're spoiled <coughs> you are spoiled 